Hello YouTube! I am Pinstar and this is Two Point Hospital Strategy and Tactics Quick Tip. So today, today we are going to talk about one of my absolute favorite rooms um, in uh, Two Point Hospital. A room that can, well, I'd say make the f cornerstone of any uh, start. And I'm not talking about the GP's office, even though that is where everything does start. No, I'm talking about our friend, the Ward. Now, back in Theme Hospital, the predecessor to this game, the Ward was kind of a, uh, kind of a lumpy, large footprinted room that kind of just was a stepping stone to the more lucrative surgeries. Uh, not so much here. Here, the Ward is its own thing. Not only can it diagnose patients, but it can also cure them. So you do need to have yourself a ward, so you might as well learn to make it properly. So make it properly, we will. This is what I call the power ward heal uh, design here. And this will maximize your efficiency for the uh, in your ward and is something that you can build right at the start of any scenario um, and uh, sort of give you a, a really solid boost uh, while you're getting the rest of your hospital established. So now the ward itself, um, it has a minimum size of four by three, but I found that if you expand those dimensions by one each, you will get a layout that can be used much more efficiently. Uh, even, so even if you're space conscious, um, you can still, uh, I, I would say the ward is worth the investment. Uh, so five by four, one, two, three, four, five by four, like so. So like I said, big footprint, but it's an investment. It essentially acts as if it were two different rooms by itself. We're not just making it big for the prestige. That comes later. Uh, right then, ward door. Now, um, as far as this particular layout goes, there is one space where the door should be going should go right here. So find a place in your hospital where uh, a, a ward shaped like this with the door right here belongs because everything else will fall into place quite nicely. Boom. Now for the nurse's station, what we want to do is we want to place it next to the door, but pointing away from the door like this. Boom. Now, as far as the screens, we're going to, we'll, we'll circle back to the screens. What I want to do is I want to lay down the beds right now. Now, what we want to do is we want to face the beds um, uh, basically towards the middle, um, uh, the middle line here, and you'll see why in a moment. Um, start, um, uh, uh, start clockwise here uh, in the lower left corner, but don't put it in the lower left corner. Scooch it one block up and then place it. Now again, you always want the ends towards the middle, so we can't. We want to put a bed up here, but we can't fit that. But a quick rotation will allow us to fit it. Also, make sure that you're pushing it all the way against the wall. More important. More on that later. Now here, you know what? You could. You don't want to put this bed here because that's blocking this one out. So we go one more uh, inch over, and again, making sure we're as far back against the wall as we can. Boom, and boom. These two can go next to each other because they each have side outlets on the other side. So it's okay that this middle part's blocked for them. And then back here, like so. And then once again, we mirror it over here um, and leaving ourselves one tile up from the corner, like that. So six beds to this room, quite a, quite a high capacity um, and a lot of throughput here, but it gets even better. Now, here we will be uh, laying down our screens. And yes, I said screens, plural. One of the biggest mistakes people make when it comes to putting down wards is only building one screen. Even if you're not making a gigantic ward, or even if you are, you need to put down multiple screens. It makes them so much more efficient. So we are going to be uh, having multiple screens here. Now, you might be saying, well, Pinstar, space is a little tight. Where are you putting these things? I'll show you. Turn them around, put them against the desk, and basically face them towards each of these two beds up here. One, two. 
But you can see there's barely enough room and there's just enough walk-in room on both sides here uh, for people to get through. So these two changing rooms will allow people to get changed uh, quickly and in and out of beds um, uh, and whatnot. But we're not done here. There's so many more things that we can uh, get here. Uh, next up, and this is something you can unlock with the Kudosh wall monitor. This uh, little wall mounted thing gives us a bonus. This actually makes the room more effective uh, and more efficient. Plus one uh, percent treatment power and diagnosis power. Yes. Now you can't just slap it anywhere because it needs to have uh, full access. You can throw it right here in this little T intersection right here. Now, there's even more bonuses that we can rack up. These medicine cabinets, they cost a bit more, uh, but also give us 1% uh, diagnosis power and treatment power. And we can, uh, we can lay down a couple of these beasts. Um, we can stick one down here in this corner. We can also fit them up here between this, these beds and these beds. Um, quite nicely. Now you could fit another one over here, but I've got something else planned for over here. Um, because I want to I want to have sort of a variety of benefits to this room, not just to those percentages. Um, but in a pinch, you could put a, uh, a fourth medicine bin here and get you a full 5% bonus to this room here. But no, what I'm going to do here is we're going to uh, throw down ourselves a uh, we're gonna throw down a uh, coffee maker we want a coffee maker so that our um, our, our uh, staff members in here if they're on the job they can go get themselves a sip of coffee um, and refill their thirst without having to take a break um, so we're gonna throw that down here in this corner over here um, we're also going to grab the hand sanitizer to increase hygiene. We're going to put it right here because we can squeeze it right here on the wall in between the door and the uh, coffee maker. And last but not least, the sweets dispenser, uh, which has the net effect of reducing hunger. Uh, we can actually stick that right over here, like so, right next to uh, the nurse's station here. So that way, if they want to get their snack on, they can. Uh, now, in this particular map, we are playing a, um, a colder map here, so go ahead, let's go ahead and grab the radiator, and uh, well, you know what? We can find a space for it right here. This will cover almost the entire room. The only, room, the only parts that it doesn't really cover are parts that people don't stay in anyway, this lower part over here. But putting two of them down here would cause things to get a little too hot. So that's the pretty much the best place for it. So even with all these basics in mind here, we've already got ourselves a prestige level three, but we can do better. Um, the other item uh, that you can unlock with Kudosh, and I highly recommend spending your Kudosh on this, is the Gold Star Award. This, um, this little uh, thing, it's a wall-mounted thing that increases both uh, hospital attractiveness and room prestige. As you can see here, uh, if we take a look at our attractiveness filter, there's nothing attractive in this room. This is an unattractive room. It's, it's kind of sterile, uh, but we don't exactly have room for a plant, um, which is usually how you gain attractiveness. Not with the Gold Star Awards. Gold Star Awards, if we start dotting these around, you'll see them start to have an effect uh, soon enough. Um, just dot them around, you know, put them around like this. Give your uh, your uh, your uh, nurse uh, station a little gold star. Maybe one over here. And with enough time, we have level five prestige, which by the way is the highest level of prestige. And as you can see, the entire ward is covered now with, uh, with that. And if we look at the temperature, almost all of it is covered uh, with heat. Um, so what does this, uh, what does this, uh, little, uh, uh, thing look like in action? Well, let me show you. The ward in action here, as you can see, we have our little ward designed up like this. Let's put this, uh, ward to the test here, shall we? Uh, we have just invited in a six person emergency to the ward. So if anything is going to put this room through its paces and uh, see how it handles a crowd here, uh, that will be this. As you can see, two changing rooms, uh, double the changing speed. They have to get changed before they can get into bed. Uh, we also have um, set two nurses to work here. So you can see one is on their station here, one's walking around. Um, 
And now once the once the patients are changed and ready, they go to the beds, the nurses go to the front of the beds, and again, double-barreled patient servicing. One nurse invites them to the bed, the other gets the other to the bed, like so. And it's quick and easy access for everyone. Next two patients come in, uh, get themselves changed. We have another person ready to rock and roll. Um, and the other nice thing about having two nurses working in here is if one of them decides to pop off for a quick break, that's not the end of the world. The ward can still get serviced and boom, here comes our replacement. Now we're back up to two nurses and they're rocking and rolling here. Um, so see, with the beds right there, you put you to bed, put you to re bed right there. There's the redhead. Um, the other nurse put the other one to bed and look at that. All of our emergency patients, well, except for that guy who decided to get up for some reason. Uh, all of our emergency patients are in their beds, peacefully recovering, trying to survive this emergency. So as you can see, this ward fi fires on all cylinders here. Even a VIP is coming in and giving us the double thumbs up. So I hope you guys uh, find the power ward heal uh, to um, uh, to great effect um, to your hospitals and again you know even if you're not curing ward based diseases it's still a great great diagnosis room because of how quickly you can churn through people as you can see here so, if you guys like this episode and you want to see more like it, you want to see some more quick tips, uh, go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, uh, and hey, if you think uh, you know someone who might need this tip, eh, uh, think about uh, sharing this video with them. The more exposure, the better. Um, and that way I can bring you more tips, um, uh, uh, so keep your eyes peeled. So, if you guys, um, uh, until next time, this has been Pinstar, signing out. See ya!